January, Donald Trump finally becomes president, which really annoyed all the liberals and feminazis and Islams. And that bin there as well. Probably an Islamic bin. Bin Laden. February. The annual liberal shit fest that is the Oscars. Rolled out the red carpets again for the usual shower of pedos and sex pests. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a giant golden pedophile they were unwrapping and probably gonna worship it later. March. Transgender Muslim feminists are raping and blue pillaging the streets of Sweden. April. This is the future that liberals want. Sailor cats. Let that sink in for a moment. May. She has held hands with a fascist demagogue in America. Yeah, She's yeah. Triggered feminist, butthurt hit piece. June. Terrorists attack London. Finally, thank God. I mean, it is bad and everything, but it sends my YouTube views through the roof. July. Sanctimonious liberal migrants are literally driving into Europe and transforming into robo-rapists. This is why we need full Brexit. August. The Swedish capital is now under the complete control of ISIS. September. It turns out the gayest dick the devil ever pulled was a young fella's while convincing the world he wasn't a sex pest. Maybe we should have seen it coming. It was 2017 after all, the Chinese year of the nonce. October. Anti-Trump CNN once ran a story about a distressed boy, remember him? Turns out the little terror's actually fine and enjoys playing with a ball. More like FNN, am I right? I'm not left. November. This guy took so many red pills he tried to drill his own head off. He's literally too woke. December. Literally, Merry Christmas. Are those presents for me? Oh no, they're just concrete barriers designed to stop trucks from plowing into you. Thanks, Father Cookmas. Alex is very excited to have Paul here. Heart, heart, heart. I am. I live in my mom's basement. It's something. weird seeing Paul without a map. Paul, tell us about your map. Well, first got the idea for the map when I met Alex outside Frank's Hot Dogs on West 4th and Colorado. He said I had a wonderful straight white male face and would have mind shitting out a few hit pieces triggering the leftist hate machine. It felt like Alex had given me the keys to the world and that's where I got the idea for the map basically. I thanked Alex for the opportunity. No problem, he said. Just remember to sell the fucking brain pills, yeah? Every morning before I start writing or shooting a video, I take two capsules of brain force for a sustainable burst of energy. The most powerful nootropic I've ever taken, and it comes without any of the crashes or the jitters associated with energy drinks. Brain Force Plus.